Liam and Maya had always dreamed of adventure, but they never expected to find one in the middle of the ocean. What started as a fun afternoon on their uncle's sailboat turned into a nightmare when a sudden storm pushed them far from shore. The wind howled, the waves crashed, and before they knew it, they were lost at sea. Creating such beautiful animations for your kids' channel has actually never been this easy. Now, in today's tutorial, I'll show you exactly how to create such beautiful animations. And make sure you stay till the very end because that may be the very difference between getting such a beautiful cinematic video like this one or ending up with a bunch of static images just like these ones that have been thrown together to form the video. Now, if you're just starting out with your YouTube channel, we are having a monetization challenge. So make sure to check that out. I'll leave the link to that in the description box below as well. Before we get started, if you're interested in knowing more about AI tools and how to use them to make your everyday work easier, then consider hitting that subscribe button because this channel is all about that. Without wasting time, let's get started. So we'll start by going over to magiclight.ai. So once you're here, all you need to do is go ahead and click on create AI video. So once you do that, you'll be redirected to this page. So right here, you can go ahead and choose the aspect ratio for your video. Then next, you can go ahead and choose the language that you want your video to be in. In my case, I'll choose English. Again, there are all these styles that you can go ahead and choose from. So you also have to go ahead and choose the style that you want your video to be in. So in my case, I'll choose Disney. So once that is set up, the next thing that you need to do is go ahead and input a prompt for your story. Now, if you already have your own story, you can go ahead and use my own content button and you'll be able to go ahead and input your very own story. So in this case, I generated a story using ChatGPT. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy my story. Then next, I'll just go ahead and paste it over right here. Once that is done, you can go ahead and go through your story just to make sure that everything is okay. And if you're satisfied, then you can just go ahead and click on the next button. Now, this is just going to go ahead and break your story into several shots, depending on the length of your story. So in my case, you can see it has broken this into 17 shots. So you can go ahead and edit whichever shot that you want, or you can delete if you do not want a certain shot. So that is totally up to you. You can just go through the entire list of shots and then you can just go ahead and do away with what you do not want. Or if you're satisfied, just go ahead and hit next. Now, right here, we'll go ahead and create the characters in our story. As you can see, it's automatically picked all the characters in my story. So all I need to do is go ahead and create these characters. So the first character is Liam. So I'll just go ahead and click on edit character. Now this will open up this page. And as you can see, they have brought all these different characters that I can choose from. Based on my story, any of these characters can actually be Liam. But in my case, I'll just go ahead and create my very own. So as you can see, I'll need a character prompt for this. Or if you have an image of your character, you can just go ahead and click on this button and upload your character. So in my case, I do not have that. So I'll just go back to ChatGPT and I'm asking it to give me prompts to generate the characters that are in the story. So once that has been done, now I just need to go ahead and copy the prompt that I want. In this case, I'll copy for Liam. Then I'll go back to Magic Light and I'll just go ahead and paste the prompt right here. So once that is done, now I can go ahead and choose the category, the name, the gender, and the age. So once that is done, now I just need to go ahead and hit the generate button. And this is going to generate my character for me. So once the character has been generated, you can go ahead and click apply if you want. If not, you can go ahead and click the edit button to make any changes that you want. In my case, I'm very much satisfied with this character. So I'll just go ahead and click apply, then confirm. Now I'll go ahead and do this for the rest of the characters. Now, as you can see here, I have my entire cast and I'm ready to move on to the next stage. Now, in case there's a character that was not automatically picked up, you can go ahead and click on the add character button to add any character that is missing. And you can also go ahead and change the voiceover for a specific character. So right here, you can go ahead and choose the voiceover that you want to use for a specific character. Now, since I'm satisfied with what's already there, I'll just go ahead and close this and I'm going to hit on the next button. 
So now this is just going to start generating all the images for my shots. So once the images have been generated, you can just go through them to make sure they are okay. If there's an image that you do not particularly like, you can go ahead and regenerate that specific image. So we'll just go through all these images just to make sure that they are okay. And as you can see, the quality of the images are actually really good and the characters in the story are very, very consistent. Now, if for some reason you find an image that is not up to standard, then all you need to do is go ahead and hit this regenerate button to go ahead and regenerate that specific image. And once that is done, if you're satisfied, you can just go ahead and choose that image or you can just go ahead and regenerate until you get an image that you actually like. Now, once you've confirmed that all the images are okay, you can go ahead and hit the animate button. In this case, you can go ahead and animate using Runway or Hilo AI, or you can even go ahead and add a lip sync to your images. Now, in this case, I'll go ahead and click on the Animate Pro. So let's go ahead and test this out and see how the animation is going to turn out. So let's just give this a minute. Now the video is ready. So as you can see, the animation is actually really good. Now, if you do not have enough coins for this, you may not be able to go ahead and animate all your images. So in this case, I'll just show you an alternative route. And if you're okay with just having static images that have just been put together, then you can just go ahead and finish the process. But if you want a fully animated story, then just follow along and I'll show you exactly how to do this. So now we are just going to hit on the next button. And this is just going to take us to the very final stage of this whole process. So right here, you can go ahead and edit the cover settings. You can go ahead and edit the, sub the subtitle settings, sorry, as well as the background music. So once you've confirmed that everything is okay, including the background music and the subtitle settings, then you can just go ahead and hit on the generate button. And this is just going to go ahead and generate the video for you. So again, you can choose this uh, aspect ratio that you want from here, then just click OK. And this is just going to start generating the video for you. If you remember correctly, we did animate the very first image. So right here, you can see it. But as you can see, the rest of the images are just static. So this is not what we want ultimately for our video. So what we want is a fully animated story. So, so now let me just show you the alternative route that you can take. So that you can end up with a fully animated story. So now once you're here, you just go ahead and click on next. And once that is done, go ahead and hit the generate button. Of course, once you've chosen the cover settings, the subtitle settings, as well as the background music. So just go ahead and set all this up. Then once you're done, you can just go ahead and hit on the generate button. So once that is done, click OK, choose the aspect ratio and click OK. So this is just going to start generating the video. So once the video has been generated, do not hit on the publish button. Before you do that, go to the download button. And in this case, I'll just go ahead and click on download all the images. So all the, the images that were used, uh, that are created, sorry, are going to be downloaded to your PC. So you can go ahead and download the video if you so like, that is totally up to you. So the next thing that you need to do is go back to ChatGPT and you're going to ask it to give us 17 scene prompts. So we are going to use those same scene prompts to go ahead and animate our images. So once that has been done, you're just going to start copying these one by one. And you're going to notice that these 70 shots are going to be almost exactly uh, the same as the ones that we got from Magic Light. So now you can go ahead and use any image to video generator of your choice. You can use free Hilo. You can use Quen. In my case, I'll just be using Hilo AI to show you this. So I'll go ahead and upload the image, the first image. Then I'll just go ahead and input the scene prompt right here. And once that is done, then I can go ahead and hit create. So I'll just go ahead and do this for all the images until I have created all, until I have animated, sorry, all the images for my scenes. Once that is done, then you can just go ahead and download the images. Then finally, you can go ahead and put everything together in CapCut. So it's really that easy. That's a very viable alternative route to do if you do not have a paid subscription in Magic Light. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any questions about it, you can go ahead and put them in the comment section below. I'll be more than happy to get back to you. And again, if you want to join the challenge, the monetization challenge, the link is in the description box below as well. I hope to see you in the next one.
Until then, bye-bye.